क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the chemical preparation of fluorine and now in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of fluorine so what are those reactions let me talk about that this topic into three parts so this is the first part that i'm going to talk about so what is this first part and what are the different reactions that are basically present in this first part let me talk about that in this topic <music> So friends in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical reactions that could be exhibited by chlorine so starting the first one that is what is the action of fluorine on metals so here basically i am going to talk about that is active metals or the metals which are very much reactive so in this case basically sodium is very much reactive to chlorine and then only that is two moles of sodium whenever it reacts with chlorine it forms two moles of nacl that is sodium chloride so it is also applicable for that is two moles of potassium whenever two moles of potassium is reacted with chlorine it forms another salt that is two moles of kcl that is known as potassium chloride and talking about the next one that is even the calcium is very much reactive to chlorine so as to obtain that is calcium chloride that is cacl2 so this are basically all the s block elements and this is how basically this that is group 17 that is i am talking about that is chlorine is very much reactive to s block elements and that is what we can find a salt or we can obtain a salt whenever that is chlorine is reacted with s block elements and now let me talk about the next reaction so chlorine is not only reacted with s block elements but it can also react with the elements like that is iron and aluminum so in that case we see two moles of fe it will react with three moles of cl2 so as to produce that is ferric chloride that is fecl3 so here also that is two moles of aluminum if it reacts with three moles of cl2 then it forms that is aluminum trichloride that is alcl3 and talking about copper so it has been found that is whenever the copper strips or whenever the copper ribbon is basically inserted in that is chlorine gas so it catches fire and it forms a salt like cucl2 this shows that chlorine is very much reactive to the copper and this is the reaction so this was the reaction of chlorine on the metals but what about the action of chlorine on non metals this is what i'm going to talk about so here i'm going to talk about the actions of chlorine on non metals so talking about the first one that is when two moles of sulfur is reacted with cl2 it forms that is sulfur monochloride that is known as h2cl2 talking about the next one that is whenever phosphorus is reacted with six moles of cl2 it forms four moles of pcl3 that is known as phosphorus trichloride and this reaction is what we have discussed earlier also and talking about the next one that is whenever phosphorus is reacted with 10 moles of cl2 that is an excess amount of cl2 it forms four moles of pcl5 that is known as phosphorus pentachloride and talking about the next one that is whenever the boron is treated with cl2 it forms that is two moles of bcl3 and talking about that is arsenic whenever arsenic is treated with three moles of cl2 it forms that is arsenic chloride that is alcl3 and talking about the last one that is in this case whenever the antimony is reacted with three moles of cl2 it It forms that is two moles of that is antimony chloride. So this is what the reactions of Cl2 with the non-metals are. And talking about the last part of this one, that is action of Cl2 on hydrogen. So chlorine gas is very much reacted to hydrogen. The reason behind that is it has very much affinity towards the hydrogen molecule, and that's the reason that H2, that is whenever it reacts with Cl2, that also in presence of that is diffused sunlight. So therefore, we could form that is two moles of HCl, and this kind of reaction is very much reactive. And this is how obviously we can also prepare that is two moles of HCl, that is hydrochloric acid. So this was the first part, and it ends here. And talking about the next part, that is I'm going to talk about in this topic. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly, and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to Ikira channel. Thank you so much.